Bro. Ooh. You get that on camera? <laughs> <laughs> Hee 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 haw hee haw. Out here at Plant City. I stopped and bought a load of tractors. And these ramps put down. I got uh, four machines to squeeze on this trailer somehow. So, see how this goes. Not sure how it's gonna go. We're gonna find out. First tractor up is a TC 55 DA. It's a four cylinder turbocharged power shuttle transmission tractor with a quick attach bucket. We snatched this baby up. Well, next up, we got some Mahindra tractors. <sighs> Pete's looking sexy as ever. Yes, I said it, sexy. Let's try to squeeze four on here. Up next, we've got a Mahindra 7520. This is like one of the most iconic Mahindra tractors ever produced. We own one personally, actually. It's, it's my dad's on camp. I may buff this one out, clean it up, and use it as a rental machine. These are just one of the best, I feel. Four cylinder turbo diesel, very robust. This loader will pick up almost 3,000 pounds, a little bit more than that, actually. Just a bad, bad unit. Well, guys, I, I, I know I've mentioned a few times, but I am hard up for a cameraman to work full-time, travel with me, must not have a family or children or kids. Well, you can have a family, obviously, but no, no girlfriend or kids, at least to start off with, a girlfriend at work, but just loading this stuff up that one didn't run so i had to push on here by another tractor by myself and it'd be so cool to have someone follow me around to see how everything goes loading this stuff up and down but someone wants to hold a camera and help me make some cool videos So we got an old John Deere. It says Model A yeah, tractor. There's a serial number there. Well, you know, we put oil in that thing. That's what Nick was telling me. My buddy yeah, I sent out here last night. Mine, he liked to work on tractors. We had a couple of uh, tricycle ones. Yep, yep. I tear my part on this thing here and fix them up. But then it got to a point where he said, you know, we're up in the ages. You gotta, gotta, you gotta slow down a little bit, yeah. Uh -huh. The clutch ain't locked up. That's the clutch lever right yeah, there. I'll I'll see it right here if it's in gear. Yeah, it's in neutral right there. We're good there, so we're in neutral. Drag her on up on there. He was telling me you had a old Wilson next to the Chrysler dealership, Dodd dealership. Here. Yeah, in Dade City. Yeah. Uh -oh. hmm. Maybe the brakes are stuck on it. Now try it, maybe. There's the brakes. We got it in neutral. That tire's rolling. This one's not. It's rolling. Hold that one. Yeah. The tires are holding air, kinda. I know. I was sitting out here. Steering wheel works. Get her loaded up. Yeah, we'll figure it out. We'll get it broke loose. What's that? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yep. All right, so what are we missing? Carburetor's still there. Yep. Magneto's still there. I don't know if this one's going to run or not. Boys, we're going to try. Here we go, guys. All loaded up. We're headed back to Dade City with our new... I'm not going to say project. We're not going to fix this thing up. We're going to try to get it running or at least flip it and sell it. We'll see. This thing's a lot worse than it looks. Or it's a lot worse than I thought it was going to be. Ooh, all right, guys. We made it back to the shop. John's going to work on getting this thing unchained. And then we're going to uh, use a telehandler to hopefully unload it. 
and get it off of here and put it up next to the shop. We're going to try to get it broke loose. I think the, uh, oh, I got some smudge on the camera. I'll wipe it off, but see if the engine's locked up or not. Well, the back left tire is still locked up. So I'm going to walk in here and grab the air hose. Looks like I got an engine for a tractor. Let's see if we can get these front tires aired up on this thing. We don't need no air chuck. So like I said, the fellow that we got this thing from, he was telling me that he put oil on the cylinders 20 some years ago. So let's see if there's any oil in these cylinders. Oh, oh that's some funny looking clear oil there. That's not good. That's not good at all. Dang it. Some awfully funny looking oil. Great. This thing might not start. Look at all that mud on our barking plugs. I mean, carburetor ain't looking too hot either. But uh, if we can get it broke loose, then it's probably still not gonna start. All right, let's check this out. Well, there's no liquid in that side. So that's, that's a good, I reckon, good thing. It's starting to look more and more like this is gonna be an Antiqua tractor for the front of the shop. I hate, hate, hate making a will it start video on stuff that doesn't run or we can't get started, but if we can't get this thing to break loose with this pry bar over here, I don't think it's gonna have a life with us, unfortunately, which kind of sucks. Water's still draining out. Let's see if I can put the pry on this thing and get it to budge. So I've got my big handy dandy pry bar, courtesy of Nick, our uh, elite diesel technician. <laughs> See if we can get this thing to break loose. Oop. Just moving. Look at the water gonna start pouring out of it. Oh yeah. <laughs> yep. Uh-oh. Your head hard spot. Mother truck. Try to go back the other way. Woo! You can do now. Alright, now we're moving. Better spot to put her. There we go. Come on, baby. Keep doing your thing, chicken wang. Let's go too soon. Too soon. Just dang it. It stops right there every time. I need to pull the plug out of the other side, maybe. I'm kind of screw it back in there, buddy. Oh. Ooh. You get that on camera? <laughs> <laughs> they got me. One whole revolution. Ew. <laughs> not good. Hey, at least it's not oil. I beg to differ. It could be some serious. It could be a little oil. <laughs> oh, I'm getting all dirty. 
It smells like um, like some uh, TV blaster or something. Like that. They probably did put something like that in there. Good news. Our, this, so the old man, we gotta give him a backstory on this too. I can't keep saying old man. The gentleman that we got this baby from, he told me that he bought it and him and one of his friends back in the late 80s when he retired, um, they used to restore them and this is one they never got to. And it had been sitting, when they got it, it had been sitting for like 15 years and not running. So, 80s, so let's say like 85 is what the difference, 15 years, that makes it 1970. 52 years. Yeah. So it's a good thing he did put some kind of substance in here or this engine would for sure be locked up. No doubt. Man, this thing was diesel. We had this baby running so fast. Look at the water still coming out. Good golly, Miss Molly. Like you guys been seeing in some previous videos, I've got um, some stuff right here that I told you we sold to a royal auction up in Zephyr Hills. And hop in the old Pete and haul it up there. And as far as our trailer goes, I think we have finally nailed down our issue to being the ABS valve. Um, after we got it put on there, it still was dragging the brakes a little bit. I backed the adjust slack adjusters off another quarter turn, and I haven't had any more issues. So I think we're pretty much cherry. So with all that being said, our trailer's good to go. I did talk to the Load King and Prestige. They are uh, gonna be shipping us out four brand new tires for the Ford axle because that's the axle we're having a lot of the issues out of. And uh, hopefully we'll be moving forward and our trailer will be good to go now. I'm pretty pumped and happy about that. They did say if we have any brake issues in the future in the next few years, like shoes or drums having problems, they would take care of that for us. So I'm just glad the company made it right and took care of us guys. Here to the auction and get these things unloaded. Got that FedEx truck pulling from us. I got the yard monkeys up here doing jack all that. You gonna get stuff unloaded? Nope. It's y'all stuff, not mine. It's your stuff. It's your stuff. Fuck it is our subject, I think. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> unloaded. Nope. My sunglasses back then. Nope. <laughs> Let's see what other cool stuff they got. Some trailers up here coming up at the next auction. Pretty sweet here at Royal Auction in Zephyr Hills, Florida. Like I mentioned, guys, they bought these tractors from us. I think I've said it like four times. And there's a pretty freaking sweet lifted Polaris Razor 1000 down here. This thing's definitely seen mud before. Oh, no key in it. I don't put a key in it either. Someone. Why you say that? Sounds like you're same situation you're in. Money, money, money! I see much chicken. <laughs> so I think the trailer's fixed. They're gonna send me some new tires. One of these, it's this one for sure, but there is a flat spot. It's like parallel with the mud flap. Those things are some sweet little machines. Yeet. <laughs> Back to the shop we go, out in the sun for 10 minutes. I'm soaking wet, soaking free wet. You wanna talk about how hot it is here in Florida? There you go. Gosh, that makes me, 
I don't want to get out and do anything. Be lazy all dang day. Made it back to the shop, guys. The sad reality of old John Deere Model A. It says Model A tractor, so I, don't, I think it's an AO maybe. Um, a friend of mine, Matt, kind of mentioned. Usually he buys these things from me when I get these old deers. Um, and, you know, guys, I think if I someone had a newer carburetor swap on there, they weren't in such in terrible shape. And um, that starter, you know, is probably not in good shape either. You might could probably get this thing running no doubt probably no doubt about it. i guarantee if matt matt has had this thing at his house he can get this thing going no problem <clears throat> but we don't have a decent carburetor or a good starter to put on there to get this thing going it's gas so for now it's gonna be yard ornament at the front of the shop up here and uh yeah so we're gonna park up there at the front of the shop as yard ornament and um if anybody wants it thousand bucks that's what i paid for it bring my money back I think grandma's peach cobbler dish over there got broken. I know, the right? Process. That's what they were using to hold the <laughs> top on. All right, so we need to make this thing a little less to the point where we might get sued if someone trips and falls on it. So we're going to bend these things down a little bit. Ow! Like that? Yeah. 
<laughs> I need to make a sign or something put on the side of this because right now it looks pretty. I know we can do. We get Franny to plant some some plants around it. Right now you need a tetanus shot if you're gonna touch this thing. Uh, yeah, so we can do. We'll get Franny to get some plants and make a little flower garden around it. I think that'll look cool, don't you? That and uh, it can't be any worse, but. Maybe put a plant right in here. Just plant a tree in the intake manifold. Not like we haven't had tractors do that before. It's true. <laughs> cool. Well, there you have it, guys. Our will it start video didn't start, but will it grow a garden? Probably. <laughs> See, we plant a garden around this thing. Check back in a week or so. We'll give Franny, my mother in law, something to do. And uh, yeah. That's a wrap, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. A little bit of trucking in here and there and some tractors we bought earlier in the video. Um, what you see in here is my son's little rolly chair, his walker thing. But we've got a mess load of second gen parts here that came in for our two second gens that are gonna be working on when I get back from Tennessee in about a week and a half. So doing lift kits on both of them, tires and wheels on both of them, redoing the interior. We got our brake parts for the Lincoln came in right there. Um, shout out to Riley for all that good stuff. And I got a full air ride. Everything is coming for the Lincoln. So we got a ton of auto content coming after we do a bunch of semi truck content next week. Super pumped about that. Hope you guys are as pumped as I am to see the Lincoln driving on air ride. It's going to be super cool. Make sure y'all smash the like button, drop a comment down below. Freak, see you later. Peace.